Hello, it's Drea Van Allen and I'm back finally. It's been about a month since I did my last lesson, so thank you for your patience. Um, my life got a little bit crazy. So, uh, since everything has gone not according to my plan, I've decided that I'm not going to plan anything anymore because anything I plan doesn't work. <laughs> so, including me uh, packing away all of my pre-done, written out lessons I had for you guys that I was planning on taking on the road and all my books and all that stuff. Um, I can't find it. So uh, this lesson is going to be on improvising and uh, recording because that is what's going on in my life right now. So I'm going to improvise this lesson. Uh, so improvisation is a huge thing that I do. Um, a lot of my songs um, come about, I'll like write the lyrics, but I'll improvise all of the harmonica and then I'll record the video and uh, then it, it kind of sticks and I have some kind of a form to it. Um, but I mean, just like I said about my life, life is improvisation. You can't be planning everything. You can't have your sheet music in front of you and have to have everything a certain way because it's not going to happen and it makes you nervous and it makes you stressed and you just don't, don't want that. This the music's about having fun. Um, and I mean, blues is about improvisation, <laughs> I think at least. Um, so I do have a lick for you guys though just to give you something. Um, I am going to show you, because I had a request on some simple ways to record yourself and capture song ideas or something maybe you want to share with people or just uh, something you want to listen back to or maybe even record something and put it out there to the world. Um, the easiest way to capture anything is if you have a smartphone. Um, I have an iPhone. And uh, let's see, so you just go to to voice memos. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there should be a voice memo or you can download an app. There's plenty of apps out there about recording that are free. But the one that comes with your iPhone is called voice memos. And for this phone, it's under extras. And then you'll see. Do, do, do voice memos sorry about the glare yeah so then that's the voice memos right there yeah. and then you'll see that the screen comes up and all you do yeah you see if you can read this at all i know it's a big blur um see my song ideas down there but all you do is hit record the big red button right there so all you do is hit record and now we're recording so for example That's done. Now, let's listen. I just pressed the red button again to end it. So I pressed the red button to start it and I pressed the red button to stop it. Now to listen to it, I'm gonna hit play. I don't know if you can hear this. But yeah, so it's that simple for that. And the tricky part might be to maybe uh, save it. Um, so all you do is hit done. There's three buttons really. So you hit done. And after you hit done, you're gonna see an option to save the voice memo. 
and then you can name it. So you just hit your typing thing should come up and um, let's put a test. So I just type test in there. Sorry about this glare. And then my dad's taking over his office. And then you just hit save. And there it is. Test, along with my other songs. You guys can see what you're about to hear with me because uh, those are my song ideas. Okay, and uh, that is basically it for that. And if you wanted to share it, so you could hit or edit it and go back and add more ideas, you would just hit it again. Ugh. See? And uh, you could either hit edit and add more. Okay, same thing, press record. I want to add more to the test. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. End it. Listen. And um, then to share it, you would hit, you go back to it, hit done. And then you'll see option to edit, to trash it, the trash can, so you don't like it or whatever, or to share it which is the weird like paper thing with an arrow. And then whatever your phone's options are, I could send it in a message. Um, let's see, I could hit more. Um, I don't know what this is, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you can share it that way. Um, and if you don't have a smartphone, um, I'm going to show you another um, easier way. If you have a laptop, I assume that you guys have some kind of computer device if you're watching these videos. Um, on my laptop, the way that I do these lessons right here is I go to the photo booth. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do showing you guys what's going on on my computer. I'm not that um, good at this yet for recording these videos um, but I just go to photo booth and then I and there's an option for camera and then I just hit the film one and uh, yeah just start going and make sure you hit auto flip don't be like me and have everything backwards the first five times you do something and uh, that's it and then uh, I just like go to Facebook and hit upload and pull from my computer and uh, there it is and you just name it um, another really cool way to do, say you want to do like a little demo or CD or something, is I bought one of these things called a Tascam, and it records CD quality um, music or whatever, and uh, it's called a Tascam DR22WL, and this has the two microphones, and they have better ones and ones that aren't as advanced. Um, and I got it like with a little kit. It came with the little um, hat. I don't know the technical name. I know it's to reduce the noise in the room and like kind of like a popper stopper does. Um, and then I uh, I got this little tripod thingy, and uh, I just hooked this into here. And then turn it on by holding down the bottom and then it's on. Now you could do a little bit more technical things but this is really user-friendly. They have a really good uh, manual that tells you if you want to just automatically record adding reverb or whatever. Um, but there's the different settings you'll see. There is one that even says easy but there's one for acoustic, vocals, music, and um, actually I don't know what the M is for. And uh, this is just, I don't know, because people record like their speeches or ideas or something also. Um, but you put the little 
you don't have to put this on. This makes it a lot quieter and reduces like uh, humming or something going on in the background. But for this, you could just hit easy just to start out. So I just put it to easy and you can see the screen a little bit. Maybe not. It says zero, zero. So I have another song already down there, but it's really, you just hit record, it'll light up and hit record again. I'm just kidding. Just hit record till it starts going. Yeah, now it's going. So right now, I could record something that uh, could possibly even go on a CD once you load it into some other software to mess with it. Um, this is, once I started using this, uh, my songwriting really took off because I was able to capture so much and you think you're gonna remember things and you, <laughs> you won't. Or at least I won't. <laughs> just you don't don't remember certain licks and just certain ideas. And sometimes if you just have I had this on like I recorded myself for practice when I did that competition and listened back to make sure everything was good. Um, but it's really cool, really simple to use. When you're done recording, hit the record button again, and to get if you want to, it'll start blinking because you're allowed to go back and add to what you're doing already. Um, but if you're done, you just hit menu and then it's done and you could do another song or you could be done. So let's say we're done. Yeah, that was a good song. Oh. So now what you're going to do is you're going to want to load it to your computer. Now it did come with this USB thing so you can connect it to your computer and load it up that way. But I like to do, um, I have a memory card reader, but it has this really tiny memory card. And you put this into a reader and stick it in your computer. And then it'll pop up as something new. And uh, however, I don't know what kind of computers everyone has. Um, but you just click on it and play it, add it to iTunes or your desktop or throw it away. And then when I have it on my computer, I like to then, once I put it where I want, then I'll go and delete them all and throw them in the trash. So that way it frees up the space in here. And this thing's just running on, uh, I think two AA batteries. Yeah. And they last forever. I haven't had to change these in a while. Knock it. Now I'm going to have to change them. But I have a bunch of batteries, so it's okay. But yeah, that's a really easy way to record, too. I think these start at like 100 bucks. And if you want to do like a CD or if you're getting into stuff, um, I don't know, save some money for it. I saved money from a couple gigs for mine. I think mine is the $300 one. And uh, what I am doing for recording, I'm not going to go into this this lesson, um, is I am just using a Focusrite. Um, here's the box. The Scarlet 2i2 for musicians on the go. And uh, it's really, really easy. Um, your system will recognize it. You just have to have like GarageBand or some kind of music software. Um, it recognizes it right away. All I do is I I have a, my microphone stand, my mic, vocal mic, which is a Shure SM58. And then I bought a little popper stopper, which aren't much, and you can even make them. And uh, you guys see my stomping board it's a shower board I took for my shower I'm taking over my dad's space um, and then you just take the bottom where you would plug into like an amp or mixer or whatever PA and and then you just plug it into there and then you just plug in the computer part into your computer, turn on your microphone, 
press the record button on whatever software you're using and there you go, you can start recording. Um, so that's what I'm doing to record my CD. And uh, yeah, there's tons of tutorials. I, I looked up a lot of stuff to learn because I thought that this had to be a lot more complicated than it was. Turns out the recording part's pretty easy. It's the mixing and mastering that is, uh, I don't know, it's like a different, a different language. I just dropped all of my microphones. I just dropped this, my pedal, and <laughs> So yeah, improvisation. Let's talk about that because I've planned a lot of things. I thought that I was going to have a whole CD like in my hand already and I thought that I would, wouldn't take three days to get to California from Colorado. Um, I thought that it wouldn't snow. I, uh, I thought a lot of things. I planned and planned and planned and I worked really, really hard. I was working every day for weeks, getting maybe three hours of sleep, and I still couldn't do it. And uh, I'm still trying to record. Um, yeah, I've just basically decided that nothing can go as planned in life anymore. So I just talk about improvisation a little bit. Um, just go with the flow. And this goes with music so well because, like, there's the background, the soundtrack of life. To say, okay, that's my dad uh, asking. Yes, uh, so I'm gonna have to go very soon because it's dinner time. Um, I'm in Santa Barbara at my dad's house, and I've turned his his office into this messed up recording space. With, like my a couple pieces of foam, and yeah. <laughs> So I'm improvising, uh, improvising everything right now. But um, just like think about life as being like a background music and uh, you can't plan what's going to happen. Like even if you think that, oh, I'm going to go to school. Well, you don't know what's going to happen on the way to school. You don't know what's going to happen at school. So you just always have to be open and uh, willing to just be creative even with your life and your music. Um, so for instance, my song, uh, Going Crazy Blues, if you guys haven't heard it, it, there's some videos of it on my YouTube. And, uh, when I recorded it, I actually did not do it how I planned. Um, I, in my mind, I had messed up, but then I was like, after I kept it, cause I loved how it went. Um. When the part when I go slow and I pause, I forgot my words. I forgot the lyrics to my song that I had written. And so I had a pause and then I was like, I'm just going to turn it into, I'm just going to make it go slow and then fast and then slow again. Um, when I go, oh, now I'm broke and I'm crazy. The doctor who did ruin my life. <laughs> I said I'm broke and I'm crazy. The doctor done ruined my life. <laughs> oh, now my days are filled with <laughs> heartache, fear, and strife. <laughs> well, the whole song was supposed to be fast, but at the end, I go slow, then fast, then uh, slow again. And uh, I really like it now. It's one of my favorite songs of mine that I've written. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing for you guys to know, maybe. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm rushing on my dad and make dinner. So I'm going to give you guys this lick. Two draw, three draw, four blow. This is a warble. Four, five draw, four, five blow, four, five warble again. So anything with the arrows, that's warbles, four blow, three draw, two blow. It'll sound like this, C harmonica. That's 
kind of a cool lick that comes off the blues thing. Um, I know I haven't really gone into warbling, but it's just going back and forth. Four, I'm on the four draw, and I'm going to go to five draw. And you start going faster and faster. And you just have to practice that a lot. Um, don't get wrapped up, up on, are my hands supposed to move or is my head supposed to move? Uh, mine moves both a little bit. And uh, don't look in the mirror when you do this. It'll just trip you up. Um, but this would be cool. Like um, That's a good thing about having scales is you practice some scales and you practice a few key, li key licks. And you just need to know the key of the song, like I talked about before. And then you're ready to improvise. So if you had a whole thing planned, but it's a blues song or a jazz song, um, you could just be like, oh, well, I, I know this, but you probably won't even be thinking. But if you play these licks and the scales enough, it will be in your memory. Now I'm talking about like a hundred times. Um, don't kill yourself trying to do this, but it will come into your music eventually, and you won't think, you won't be cognizant of it. You're just going to do it. Um, but for this, like, ah, the music's going, and I don't know what to do. Just keep warbling. People go crazy for warbles. Like, uh, James Cotton has, like, a entire songs that that's really the only thing he does is warble and people are just like whoa it's like kind of almost like a party trick uh so yeah the lick again and you could go whatever pace you want to make it different you could dirty up the notes like i was talking about um so let's see I just realized that what I showed you guys was supposed to be a two draw, but I put a two blow. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And I just added a two blow right there because I just did it. Um, but remember that the two draw is the root notes. So you're going to want to probably go back to that because it's the, the one, the one of the, the chord. Remember, one, three, five. All right, well... Sorry this lesson's a little bit uh, sped up and how long it's been, but I gave you guys an extra, um, like, 10 minutes that I normally do. And, um, yeah, some news for me is I have been uh, persuaded by some friends and stuff um, and a couple fans to document my trip which really begins tomorrow. I'm packing up all my stuff, like I said in the last lesson, and um, I dropped off a bunch of stuff at my mom's. Now I'm at my dad's, dropping a couple more things off, try to get a couple things recorded. I got like two more songs recorded. Um, and then I'm going up north to the Bay Area, and I'll be busking in San Francisco and Healdsburg and um, going to do a couple open mics. My brother lives there. He plays the guitar, banjo, and mandolin, and sings as well so we'll have a jam session uh it was my birthday which i spent on the road by myself so we're gonna celebrate my birthday finally uh yeah so i'm gonna be doing a a vlog it's like a video blog and uh documenting most of my trip all the craziness all the the packing some people i meet uh some the music i encounter maybe interviewing some people. So that will be on this channel as well. And uh, please share and uh, yeah, give some suggestions about, I don't know, things you guys maybe want to learn too because I lost all of my lesson plans and I have to improvise all of your lessons for you now and um, rethink them and everything and I don't have the pre-made stuff that I took the time to do um, 
So, yeah, I'm, I know there's a lot of things to cover, um, but if there's something specific you guys are looking for, I'm trying to go from beginner and intermediate to advanced. I don't want to do a whole bunch of crazy little Walter type of stuff right away because I did start from the beginning. I'm treating you guys how I would treat a brand new private student. Um, but I'm thinking of adding maybe a couple songs series in there for those of you that are a little more advanced to keep your interest. Um, but yeah, look for my vlog entries. I already have one. And uh, yeah, you can see my crazy shenanigans. And yeah, thanks for the new subscribers. And I will uh, be back with more news a lot sooner this time, probably from my brother's house next, because I'm leaving at nine in the morning tomorrow. All right, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.